We surround ourselves with toxins and cleaners and all we of those do. good things. And even pet products. And in many cases, the toxins we live with are being blamed for diseases we die from. In tonight's uh, Green is Universal report, NBC5's Ginger Z follows one woman's journey from toxin full to toxin free. It is within the secret garden that Mary Liddell raised her children, not only in the popular storybook, but in a home on this plush plot of land in Itasca. When I purchased this home, it just made me feel like it was a secret garden. With her kids grown up and out of the house, Mary has plans to share the secret garden with new guests. Knowing the character and the charm that it had, um, I thought it would be something that um, would be wonderful for me in the future if I decided to turn this into a bed and breakfast. Flipping the house to be a B and B is work enough, but Mary has another goal. In this past year, this has been a very emotional year for me. I had my very best friend die of cancer, and also my sister. And she's certain that toxins in the home had something to do with it. Mary wanted to take her secret garden and make it an eco-friendly garden, so she called in some experts to help. The EPA estimates that indoor air pollution is five. 70 times higher than outdoor air pollution. And it's one of the things that we can control. Kelly and John of Earth Friendly Products take Mary's home from toxic to green in a flash. They're not high priced items. They're, they're cost effective and they're, they're good for your home. Dish soap, hand soap, fruit and veggie wash all need to be toxin free. From the sheets to green alternatives for her permanent house guest, the secret garden will be charming, quaint, and now a healthy place to stay. When the day comes, and we'll, we'll pretty soon, that it is my wish, you know, to open this as a bed and breakfast, um, uh, I will, you know, have a happy home, you know, for people to enjoy staying here. In Itasca, Ginger Z, NBC5 News. Our thanks to Ginger. Yes, thank you.